Lachlan, can we have a word? Yeah, sure. Do you want a drink? Uh, no, thank you. In fact, we've got something to give you. What is it? I said don't tell. No, you didn't. Well, it was kind of obvious, wasn't it? What, Lachlan? Well, is it true? Is what true? Yeah, yeah, it was me. I found a bag of money outside the back door of the B&B. A lot of money. We didn't know who had left it. And it was you? Why? What's it about? Yeah, I'd like to know that. Because I've got a lot of money I don't need. And you need a load of money you don't have. You yeah, can't just give it to us. And why the secrecy? You were right there when we were wondering where it came from. Well, I can just give it. I mean, it's mine. Well, it was. Yeah. Because I knew you wouldn't have accepted it. Because I didn't want you to know, and thanks for that, by the way. Well, we can't accept it, knowing it's yours. Diane! There's no way I'm taking it back. Right, you guys have been dead good since... everything happened to my mum and granddad. You don't owe us money for that. Well, plus helping out with the beer and stuff, which if you hadn't, it wouldn't have led to... everything. Including the state the B&B's in now. You're not responsible for that. <laughs> Look, I'm not taking it. All right, if you give it me, I'm just going to leave it here and then somebody else is going to take it, and what a waste that'll be. Oh, my God, you're amazing. I'll second that. Well, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I know, ostensibly, you did it for Doug, but... Uh, thank you. Yes. From the bottom of my heart. There's not many young blokes who do that. And so say all of us, and so say all of us, for he's a jolly good fellow. And so say all of us. Sorry, who's a jolly good fella of interest? Lachlan. Yes, he left a while ago. And I think you should follow suit. You and me need to talk. Well, I'm not doing it with you in that state. Get a coffee and come home. Oh, I've still got one, then. Don't be mardy, Doug. Hmm. Ooh, we'll have an early brush up before you set off tomorrow. Eight o'clock next door. Right. And get that nonsense out of your head. Right. Coffee. But you've been learning the wrong things. Saying the wrong things, according to him. I thought you were friends. No, yeah, he's got a new rich one now. So he thinks. Someone left a bag of money outside the B&B. 20 grand. It was careless. No, it was on purpose. It was Lachlan. What did he give him 20 grand for? Reckon it's because they let him keep a few bottles of beer there for a few days. I don't know. But he only admitted it when I pushed him. So why do he keep it a secret? I don't know, that's my question. I don't know why no one's interested. It's really dodgy. I think it's weird. You're begrudging someone else's good fortune. Yeah, I do a bit. All right, come on, get working. It wasn't good fortune when the place was being robbed. All the more reasons to be pleased from then, isn't it? Right, the place gets robbed and the guy who did it goes missing. All of a sudden, Lachlan's handing out fortunes. Does that not strike you as a guilty conscience? Not really, no. Get your books out. I mean, people don't just give away money. Lachlan obviously does. I think it's well suspicious. Why does no one else think that? Do you know what I think my problem is, right? I think it's that I don't care either way. Oh, you're nice. Do you know what, actually? I am furious with him. How dare he give away money to people that could actually use it? Is that better? No. No. You've got bigger things to worry about, tomorrow being one of them. Right, but... Is this about your exams? No. No. Not interested, then. 